Hello, my YouTube friend. We have a pretty fun collection of pops to go through today. I want to discuss making some mystery boxes for you guys. And I think it's going to be really fun because I know there's some grails in this collection. And I'm going to slow roll it and show you everything that's in the boxes. All right, let's go in the store and see what we got. So today we have three, well, a bag, a bin, and a box from my neighbor John again. He's clearing out some more pops. And just looking on the top here, I see uh, Legolas from The Hobbit. And I see, uh, I think the Flock Tigger has some value. Thorn Oakenshield, uh, Old School Sinestro, Dark Side. So just on the top here, I'm seeing a lot of really awesome stuff. But he told me that there's one pop in here that's a big grail that he had two of that he had no idea he had two of. So I'm actually really excited to look for that. So I actually, I wanted to discuss making curated mystery boxes for you guys. I make them for my patrons, but I know a lot of people ask to buy stuff from me. I just find it really difficult to list every single pop I have on the shop online. Right now the shop has about a thousand pops in it. And if I took the time to actually list every single one on Macari, I think it would take me about 150 hours or three to four full work weeks. And by the time I had listed all of them, I would have sold at least half or maybe two thirds in the shop itself. So it'd be like a lot of wasted work and not necessarily faster sales. Because you know, by the time I get something listed and then I sell it and all that, I'm just, I'm exhausted and that's not something I wanna do. So what I wanna do is I tried doing a couple of mystery boxes for people that asked to buy stuff and it worked out really well. So this is how it's gonna work. If you see pops in one of my hauls that you really want or you have like a list of pops you really want, Put them in your pop price guide. Make yourself a want list on pop price guide of all the pops you want, you know, 50, 100 pops, whatever it is you're looking for, and then send me that want list. What you're gonna do is you're gonna contact me on Instagram with your pop price guide list. I'll put it in the description below so that you can contact me. I will go through your want list and I'll pull out everything I have in the store that you want. And then I'll let you know how much that value is. Let's say I pull out like 10 pops and they're worth 200 bucks. I'll say, hey, I have about $200 worth of pops from your want list. How much do you want to spend on your mystery box? And then you come back. Let's say you want to spend $100. So you say, I would like to spend $100 today. So what I'll do is I'll look through the pops and I'll try to figure out which ones I think are the coolest to add up $200. And then it will be... Uh, I'll charge some shipping. I won't charge the full amount of shipping. It might be like five to ten dollars for up to maybe six pops, something like that. And then if you're international, I think I can do three pops for twenty-five dollars shipped. So if you're overseas and you want to do a mystery box, I can do that as well. And so what happens is you'll let me know how much you want to spend. I'll let you know my PayPal email and all that. And then I'll, I'll package everything up and then I'll send you the tracking number so you know where it is. So I think it'll be fun for me. And it'll be fun for you guys. And this is a way that I can sell you some of the pops that you want without putting a lot of labor into trying to show you every single pop I have in the shop because it just doesn't work for me. It takes too much time to do it like that. Also, when you're letting me know which pops you want with your want list, also let me know how much wear or tear on the boxes is tolerable to you. If you want absolutely mint boxes, let me know. I won't pull any pops that are beat up. If you're okay with like a little teeny bit of wear, maybe a little bit of scuffing on the plastic or a slight ding, let me know. Again, I'll adjust the prices if I think the wear makes it worth a little bit less. And then if you don't mind like a really beat up box, let me know and I'll discount it even more. Or if you're like an out of box pop kind of person, let me know and then I might send you a really awesome pop for like a third to half the value off it just will have a really bad box that way you can get it cheaper I think this will be a fun way for you to buy some pops for me I can make a fun box for you it's a mystery box but it's curated so you're not going to get some random pops that you might not want and you're not gambling you're going to get the value that you want to spend so if you want to spend like a hundred dollars I'll say send me like a hundred five dollars and I'll just charge five dollars for shipping maybe if you're in California it costs me a little bit more maybe it'll be ten dollars for shipping but either way I'll give you a discount to shipping I'll cover some of the shipping costs myself and I think this is a way for you to get some pops for a good value. And it's a lot easier for me because I don't have to take pictures of every single pop in the shop. And I can get you pops that you actually want because they're on your want list. Okay, let's get to this really awesome haul of pops. Okay, let's start digging through bin number one. Okay, we have the Walgreens exclusive Juggernaut. Love that pop. Very cool pop. Do have that one. We have the 2017 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Flock Tigger. Very awesome pop. I think this one has a lot of value. Not a whole ton of value, but I think it's over 100. That one I'm pretty sure I have already. Awesome pop. We have Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Absolutely love this pop. This is one of my all time favorite pops. It's a 2019 San Diego Comic Con pop. Very cool pop. Do have it already though. 
Okay, next we have Mystique. Awesome pop. Love this pop. I uh, do have that one already. Okay, next we have, let's see. All right, we have Dark Side. I lost the bottom of his protector. I kind of hate these uh, pop protectors, the hard stacks. I like the seven buck of pop ones with the magnetic top. They're much better than this. These ones kind of like fall apart and you accidentally damage your pops. I uh, love this pop. I'm pretty sure I have this one already though. I'm gonna double check though because I think there's two or three versions of him. Awesome pop. Absolutely love that one. Okay, we have the Thorn Oaken Shield from The Hobbit. Awesome, awesome pop. I don't remember if I got this one. I feel like I'm missing this one from the set. So if I don't have it, I'm thrilled to have it. If I do have it, I'm sure someone else will be thrilled to get that one. That one is awesome. Now let's see what we got. We got the Think Geek exclusive upside down wheel. That's a very cool pop. Someone's going to want that one. This one sells really well every time I get it. We have the original Iron Man. Let's see, this is the 2015 print, so it's not an early print. It's like right in the middle. This one's been reprinted a ton of times though, so I don't think there's a ton of value in him. Cool pop though. Oops, this, the bottom is missing, so he's falling apart everywhere. Uh, ooh, okay. This one I think has some value. So we have the 13th Doctor limited to 1300 pieces. It's the first to market. So I think there's a common version that came out later. This version has a lot of value. Very awesome. I don't have her yet. That's going in my collection. I wonder if that's the pop he's talking about. I forget how much that one's worth. Okay, we have Pluto from the Disney Treasures box. Very cool pop. I do have that one already. Okay. Next, we have the Bruce Wayne. It's a 2017 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Very cool pop. Oh, this is the bottom of the case for Dark Side. <laughs> we have Lucas from Stranger Things. That is cool. I don't mind having a lot of Stranger Things in the shop because it sells well. I think I'm actually kind of low at the moment. We have Predator. Love this pop. Very awesome pop. Do have that one already. So I, since there's a lot of older stuff, I probably have the vast majority of these. The only ones I'll be missing are the really rare ones. Just because I've been collecting long enough that a lot of the stuff I have already. Okay, we, oh, this one I love. So we have Lady Sif. It's, I don't think it's officially from the first Marvel. No, it is from the first Thor movie. So this is a cool pop. I don't think it has a ton of value, but I'm sure someone will want that one. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, oh, okay, this one is awesome. The original Sinestro, I don't think I have this one. I love getting these old school DC ones. I've been picking up a lot from my collection from John. So I'm thrilled to add this one to my collection. Awesome pop, very cool. Uh, we have more Stranger Things. We have Mr. Clark, very awesome pop. That one I do have already. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have the TV Flash. This one sells really well. People love the Flash show. So every time I get the Flash, he sells. Not really valuable, but definitely in demand. Ooh, okay, we have a double set here. I don't think I have this one yet. That is cool. Okay, so we have Aragorn and Arwen from the 2017 San Diego Comic-Con. This one is cool. That one's going into my collection. Sweet. Uh, next, we have the Snowball Dance Dustin 2018 San Diego Comic-Con. That's a cool pop. Someone's going to want that one. We have Kono O'Brien GameStop exclusive. Uh, this set, the superhero ones don't sell that well, but I usually sell the one in the suit. Cool pop. I do like that one. Okay, one last item from this bin. We have the really cool Beach Joker and Harley Quinn double set. Love the set. They both look a lot of fun. He's got the fun uh, Hawaiian shirt on and she looks really cute. So that's awesome. I do have that one though. So that one will be for sale. And that's everything in this bin. So cool first bin. Okay, I'm gonna dig through the little box now. We have a Age of Ultron Hawkeye. Cool pop. We have Amazon exclusive glows in the dark yellow jacket. Very neat pop. I do have both of those. Oh, push that back just a little bit. Okay, we have the 2018 Rhode Island Comic Con Pennywise, the black and white version. That's cool. I just got that one a couple videos ago. So that one I already have. 
Okay, we have the original Master Chief. I think this one has a little bit of value. It's the one with the Cortana. Uh, I forget. It's been a while since I looked this one up. I'm thinking this one has a bit of value. I do have that one already. So he'll be for sale. Okay, we have the Hot Top exclusive DC Bombshells Joker. The one with kisses all over his face. Love that one. Adorable Pop. That one I do have already. Uh, next we have the 1989 Batman. Very cool GameStop exclusive Batman. This one came in the Black Friday box from like 2016, I believe. That one I do have already. Okay, then it looks like there are some... I don't know if these are Loot Crate figures. Yeah, they're Loot Crate figures. So it's a bunch of wrestling Loot Crate figures. All of these I will sell because I don't collect these. So who's that? That's the Undertaker. We have... Uh, Triple H. I'm sure my wrestling fans will love these though. They're pretty cool looking. We have uh, Sasha Banks. That's cool. I'm sure someone will want that. We have uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. That is very neat. Someone will want that as well. And then finally in this box, it looks like the Disney Treasures Trophy that you get after your first year. That I don't have, so that's actually really neat. That's going into my collection. Okay, so that box is fun. Not a ton of stuff, but fun stuff. All right, let's go through the big bag now. Okay, we have the Thunderbolts Punisher. It's a Walgreens exclusive. Very cool pop, like that one a lot, have it. Uh, Felicity Smock from the Arrow Show. That one I have already, she is cool. Uh, oh, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Wong. I don't know if I have it with the con sticker. That one I'm going to have to double check. Very cool pop. We have the Metallic Deathstroke previews exclusive. Love this pop. I love the way he looks. I think this is one of my all-time favorite pops. Uh, oh, this is cool. We have the Catwoman from The Dark Knight Rises. Awesome pop. This one looks like it's a little bit beat up. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. But again, this is a 2012 pop. These earlier pops, it's hard to get these in good shape because every collector who bought them back then didn't really keep them as collectibles. They just thought they were fun little things and they weren't like protectors or any of that kind of stuff. So I do have her already, but she is kind of beat up, so I'll have to discount her. Okay, next we have uh, Legolas from The Hobbit. Very awesome pop. I'm going to have to double check if I have that one or not. Next, from the Marvel Collector Core, we have Valkyrie. She is really neat. We have the Underwater 11 Hot Top Exclusive. She is cool. I love this pop. I just love any pop with like a dome helmet. I say that often every time I see them, but I love them. I think they are cool. We have Archangel from the X Factor. That is a really cool pop. I'm pretty sure I have that one already, but I'm sure someone will want that one. We have Eleven with Egos. She's a really cool pop. That one I do have already. We have Iron Man Unmasked. That one I have as well. Very cool pop. We have, oh, the Woodsy Owl Flocked Funko Shop exclusive. This one is more recent. Uh, this one I do have though, but I think it's gonna go to one of my patrons. Very cool pop. We have Mike from Stranger Things. That I have as well, but I'm sure someone will want that. We have Sabretooth from the X-Men. Very cool. That one I do have. So, so far in the bag, I have most of these. All right, we have Mr. Prickle Pants. is a 2019 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. That one I'm pretty sure I have already. Okay, next we have the previews exclusive blade. Uh, this one, I know I sold one blade pop to my friend Sean. I don't know if he needs this one. I'm gonna ask him. Very cool pop. Love blade. Uh, Tony Stark in the quantum suit. That one I do have. Okay, this one's super cool. We have the 2017 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive flocked Lorax from Dr. Seuss. Very neat. I forget if I have that one or not. I think that one has a little bit of value. Very cool pop. Okay, next we have the Hot Top exclusive Thomas Wayne from Flashpoint. Love this pop. Do have that one already. I'm sure someone will want that though. Batman stuff sells really well in my shop. Uh, okay, we have the Stranger Things Joyce. Love that pop. Do have her already. 
Okay, next we have the Black Widow Avengers version. Uh, this one I think I have already, so she'll be for sale. Okay, next we have the Interplanetary Batman. This one's really cool. Do have that one already. All right, let's see. Okay, next we have the 2017 San Diego Comic Con exclusive Aquaman with Motherbox. Do have that one already. This is in one of those cases where the bottom falls off. <laughs> Do not like those at all. Uh, we have From the Walking Dead, the 2017 San Diego Comic Con exclusive T Dog. Very cool pop. Do have that one already. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, oh, General Zod from Man of Steel. I actually just got this one on a video two ago, so that one will be for sale. Very underrated pop. I don't think that one's worth very much, but it's not one you see that often. We have the uh, Cars 3 pop. That one, I don't know if I have that one. I'm have to double check if I need it or not. We have the Amazon exclusive Groot. This one I'm gonna have to double check because I have a feeling I might be missing that one. Very awesome pop. If I have it already though, I'm sure it'll sell real easily. All right, next we have the really cool blue Venom. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. This one's gonna sell really well in my shop. People love Venom. I can't really keep Venom stuff in stock very long. It sells very well. Okay, next we have the Glows in the Dark Samwise Gamgee from the Lord of the Rings. Very cool pop. Do have that one already. Uh, okay, this one has some value. We have the Steve with Baseball Bats. A 2017 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from Stranger Things. Uh, this one used to be a lot of money. I think the price has come down a bit. But I still think it sells for a good amount. Also pop. Someone's going to want that one. Okay, next we have the FYE exclusive Jimi Hendrix. Very awesome pop. Uh, this one I do have, but I'm sure that one's going to sell real quick. People love that one. Okay, next we have the... Uh, Original Batman number one. That one I do have. So I think that's everything in the bag. Okay, very cool bag of stuff. Very awesome. Okay, I have one more little random box of stuff that was traded in over the weekend from, I think, no, one person. I think these all came from Geo. So he traded to me one of the Black Light Series Wolverine sets, the one with the t-shirt. I didn't have that yet, so I actually gave him full value. Or I looked on eBay Pop price guy said 41. I looked on eBay, it's going from like 33 to 40. So I gave him 35. To me, that's full value and trade for that. Really happy to get that one. That was cool. He traded in a couple of Zartans, which I think I have already. So I'll have those for sale. So yeah, there's two Zartans. These are amazing. I love the G.I. Joe ones. They're some of my favorites. And then he traded in the Venomized Groot. So that one I have already. He traded in uh, original Joker. This one, the box is kind of beat, so I had to give him kind of cheap on that. Uh, cool pop, but I'm gonna have to sell it relatively cheap. And then finally, this one is amazing. This is the one that was near the top of my want list. And it's a G.I. Joe Snake Eyes with Timber, Funko Shop exclusive. This one's relatively recent, I think. Uh, yeah, April, so just a couple months old. I missed this one when it dropped. I don't really buy the newer ones when they drop because I just don't like paying shipping each week. So I'm paying $21 a pop. So I think this one, uh, I forget the value. I think it was like $35.40 on Pop Price Guide. I checked eBay, it was about correct. So I actually gave him full value in trade as well for this one because that's one I really, really wanted. So yeah, awesome stuff. Actually really happy to add that and the Wolverine to my collection. Okay, I have a fun little batch of pops that were traded in while we were open today. I got the Cosmic Captain Crunch. I'm surprised I didn't have that one, so I'm really happy to get him. We have the Blue Toucan from the San Diego Comic-Con. Needed that one. Very happy to get that. We have the Glows in the Dark Black and White Vanya from the Umbrella Academy. I needed that one. Very happy to get that one. And then we got the Twins from WandaVision. I think I have the one with the con sticker, but not the shirt sticker, so I'm going to keep that. And then the rest of these were for sale. There's a lot of really cool ad icons. We have the Flock Jeffrey, uh, the Million Dollar Man Chase. That's cool. Count Chocula with the bowl, very cool pop. Prince, the Prince box is a little bit beat up. The King Ding Dong, Captain Crunch from Target, Jean Lafoot, the Frankenberry with the bowl, love that one. The Big Yella, the Fruit Pie, the Magician, the Hades Diamond one, that's cool. The Tony the Tiger based on the older look, that's cool. Toys B.I.G., always need those. Boo Berry with the bowl, that is cool. The Venomized Punisher, I love that one and the Iron Sheep Chase. So some pretty awesome pops there. I'm sure a lot of these are gonna sell real quick. 
Okay, so that was a lot of really fun stuff. You know, not a ton of pops, maybe under 100, but I'm gonna get everything out into the store today so that I can start selling it right away. And I'm gonna add up the values and see how much I'm gonna pay John for everything. I'm really excited to add a couple of rare pops to my collection. And I'm also excited to add a lot of really cool pops to the shop. I wanna thank the patrons for supporting the channel. With their help, I'm able to do more videos like this more often. I'm gonna put a couple other mega epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching, bye.